Hey, what's up, Shinky person? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, you know, walk you through some of this uh, float valve that we have been using. Uh, definitely, is one of the things that uh, wanted to share with you guys uh, why we selected this float valve and how uh, the process of it working. And of course, we'll do a demo and let you guys actually see how fast they actually are in terms of filling up the tank. Um, and the reason for doing that is because uh, we have realized that over the few years that we have been uh, in stream breeding, we kind of like try to understand what the, uh, the methodology that's being used and how do we actually improve it. And uh, it took, uh, took us many years because uh, one of the things is that there are many steps to, you know, to stream breeding and it takes time. So we invested time in, we allocated time or invested time uh, into different categories, like for example, oh, the rack setup, uh, what kind of tubings, what kind of uh, metal racks, and things like that. So this this kind of like take take its time on its own, so we don't rush. Uh, definitely, we give ourselves some timeline, but of course, we do not go and go ahead and say, okay, we try everything and uh, being accountable to for for every of this aspect, and then you know because at the end of the day, uh, time is limited, time is finite. So everybody will have a finite time, so we cannot uh, do everything all at once. Uh, then there's a reason why, you know, even after so many years, then we started to do something so fundamental like um, float valve, which is very fundamental in, in, in the stream keeping hobby. Uh, it has been around for many, many years. Uh, it's just that, you know, uh, we wanted to improve it, and that's the reason why uh, we, we selected this as well. Uh, you know, just to clarify, I just wanted to, to, to give a special shout out to all those, uh, you know, members that have been, um, have joined the, the channel. Uh, definitely, you know, at the end of the day, I will still continue to do uh, the videos and share all this information. However, if you guys want to support me by joining the video, go ahead. Uh, that is all optional. Definitely, it shows that, you know, uh, you are very, um, how, how should I put it? You are very enthusiastic and you are very supportive in terms of the, 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 the content and the knowledge that I've been sharing as well. So definitely a uh, special shout out to those guys who have uh, joined the member. And okay, so for this video, you can actually see that uh, we have this float valve as well. So what I want to do right now is that um, I have you know fill up the tank all the way up to here for some of all these tanks. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna let it run. So I'm just gonna turn on the tap and let it run uh, to show you guys and then you can actually hear how the float valve actually stop. It actually gives a quite a high pitch um, stoppage. You know, when, when it reaches the, the float, it kind of like give a very high pitch screeching, screeching sound. Uh, you guys can be the witness. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn on the main and everything will turn, turn on uh, because I have already turned on the Wi-Fi stuff. And definitely, just give me one second. Let me run through this. As you can see, you know, uh, the float valve, uh, they are actually working and the water is actually flowing for all the tanks over here. Uh, I'm just going to flip the camera around, give you guys a better look at it. And so you guys can actually take a look how it feels. Okay, so here it is. <coughs> so you can actually see that the, the way that we actually do this is that we, we kind of like, uh, you know, loop it through here. So it actually comes down from a half inch pipe over here, half inch by it goes to a one quarter. So what does that mean is that the, the water actually flows all the way up to here through a one a half an inch pipe, which means that the flow rate does not actually get affected until it reaches this stage where it's being com uh, uh, watered down to actually from a half inch to a one quarter inch. So that's where it, it starts to increase the, f the, the pressure. So what does that mean is that uh, you can see that all these tanks are actually literally filling up all at once. You can actually see that it's all filling up all at once. Uh, so we're just going to give it some time to actually look look at uh, how long it actually takes to fill up the tank. And meantime, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you guys some of the tanks that we have been setting up and trying to get things ready. Um, so it's nothing, it's nothing special. It's actually, you know, actually all these tanks, they are, you know, in the old video, it actually showed. So we actually have tanks like this. Uh, over here, I just wanted to share. Uh, oh, so these are the new Sulawesi snails, and you know, just keeping them, trying a new project. Not really focusing on them. Definitely, 
Uh, of course, you know, I have uh, turned off the air filter for now because uh, the sound of the pump is really, really strong. Uh, because all these tanks are, are still not filled as yet. Uh, we are still waiting on some of the, the, uh, the parts. Uh, definitely, you know, it, it will get done. Over here, actually, this tank is for kids. So my daughter, Kit, uh, her, her fishes. So she wants to have some fishes. So definitely, and over here, you can actually see all the, all the streams. So, so there are a lot of streams over here. Oh, there's one buried over here. There's the blue dragon, there's a buried stream. Uh, fisting on the Calyx ball. Calyx ball definitely provides a very, very good amount of bioflurm other than the ones that, uh, that you can actually man get it from the tank itself. But however, you know, it's very important to have supplementary biofilm. So we can actually see here, these are the, the babies of the blue, uh, blue dragon. Yeah, they look rather cute, rather small still. Uh, still facing on the biofilm on the, the wall. And these are some of the orange eye blue. And then over here we have the red devil, some stardust and some more stardust, black stardust, black fancies. So we're just gonna go back to the tank to actually see where we are in terms of the water. Okay, here we are. Uh, it's gonna stop for this one. You can actually see that it's almost reaching its uh, top or is it that one that's gonna reach first? Uh, this one is gonna reach first. Um, so what we do is that we we kind of like, okay, we tell ourselves that we want the, the water to be around here, this level. Uh, so that means that once the water touches the uh, very bottom of this line, it actually stops filling. So you can actually adjust this up and down. The materi material that we use is a 304 stainless steel. Will it rust? Maybe, I would say, uh, maybe over a few years it will rust. We can change them as they rust. Uh, however, what delayed this entire project is uh, actually the holder that fits this sleeve over here. Uh, the holder, the holder is the one that is. Uh, it took a long, long time. Uh, I can actually take one out to actually show you guys uh, how is it like. So you can actually see this is the holder. This holder is uh, really. It took a long time because it has to be. Uh, fabricated we sent the drawing over and then it got fabricated so that took a long time really a long time and that's the reason why it has uh, been delayed so right now you can actually see that I'm gonna turn this down a bit it's gonna reach the third the third line over here and once it reaches the third line it will stop uh, which is slightly higher than is it slightly higher? Oh, I think it's correct. Maybe we can lower it down a little bit. This one, some minor adjustment. This one is going to reach soon as well. You can see that it's going to reach the bottom line. And once it reaches, sometimes you can hear a very high pitch screeching sound that is that denotes the that tells you that oh, okay, I have you know the float valve is working. It's going to stop. So. Let's see if we hear any of them screeching. Maybe this one will screech. Let's take a look. So you can actually see that it says reach. The third one, is there still water or no? There's no water flowing down already. So this one has stopped. This has stopped. <coughs> this has also stopped. This one over here has also stopped. It does not. It's not slow because you can actually hear that the rest of the tanks, uh, the water outlet is going to be very forceful. It's going to be very, very large and you know. But I think everything has stopped except for the last one over here, which definitely will stop as well. So you can actually see, you know, in terms of the tank uh, level, it's actually quite symmetrical across all. Uh, it doesn't... You know, it depends on how, how high you want to put the float as well. So that's the reason why I think, um, yeah. So it really depends and it's all customizable. So this is the very last one that will actually be done. So which means that, you know, I can actually have 
four of these tanks all done up in a span of you know a few minutes and then of course I have a lot more work to be done here you need to get the uh, get the soil level out get the streams in place uh, transfer some of the streams and and things like that so there's quite a bit of stuff going on and that's the reason why you know uh, I'm here to get all this all sorted out I wanted to give you guys an update on what is happening uh, definitely one of the things that um, the float valve does is that oh you can hear one of them screech which is the last one uh, so the very fundamental of this float valve is actually not as a as a way to oh you can hear that screech the very last one that you know that that has one of the highest pressure uh, because that's the very last one the pressure actually increases um, but this float valve can easily handle up to 10 bars of pressure which means that most tech uh, in Singapore at least you know we will be able to handle that because uh, Singapore tap will be about three bar from the from the main source it's going to stop but it does not mean that we do not shut off the valve uh, it acts like a security feature where you know that you can actually turn on and turn off uh, if let's say you really forget uh, uh, to switch off the, the tap the float valve helps you and if the float valve you no know, malfunction uh, and it still overflows and it triggers the uh, float uh, flood sensor then we have the option to actually turn it off uh, through the Wi-Fi so, so there are means to actually try to kind of like keep your, your stream room insured in, in that sense because you know you there, there may be some days that you are busy you get distracted you go out you forgot to turn off the tap it happens we, we experience a lot of time and that's the reason why we spend quite a bit of time uh, trying to analyze understand uh, research uh, try out and see what's best for for this uh, setup so thank you guys for watching this video uh, you know I've been sharing quite a bit of uh, of this you know tank setup and things like that so once all this are said and done uh, definitely there will be a video that that shows what's going to happen uh, and then all the streams will be in there and, and things like that so stay tuned for the next video and until next time peace out